It is Black Friday. Bargain hunters galore opening their wallets trying to get the best deals across this country. One mall going the extra mile to lure shoppers. I sent Peter Barnes on a mission to go buy something at Pentagon City, the Pentagon City Mall in Washington. What did you buy, Peter? Well, hey, guys, this is one of the most popular malls in the Washington, D.C. area. It gets about 16 million visitors a year, in part uh, due to a lot of tourist traffic. It's just right across the river or just a hop, skip and a jump from uh, the National Mall and the Smithsonian and places like that. In fact, it gets twice as many visitors as the Lincoln Memorial, <laughs> which gets 7 million visitors a year. And of course, uh, the mall is going uh, all out to try to get shoppers to come in here rather than sit at home in front of their computers and shop online. Uh, but social media is a big part of its strategy. Take a listen. We use our Facebook, we use our Twitter account, Instagram, again with our photo booth that we have in place. We really want people to uh, tweet and to hashtag spread love this holiday season to get the word out. And also, for folks who might have a little trouble getting around because they're so stuffed with turkey, they have emergency bags for you with water and uh, energy bars and things like that. Anything they can do to get folks to, to get them over here on Black Friday. Dagan? Those are free? Free food? Free water? Free energy bars? Oh, yeah. Hershey's Kisses, gift cards. I'm digging it. Come on down. Uh, stay right there, Peter. Thank We're going to bring in Jeff Locke. He's standing by live in Chicago. Jeff, what are you seeing in the street? Jeff, you look just miserable. He's having a lot, <laughs> He's having a lot more fun there and wherever the heck he is than I am. Uh, yeah, this is not a, a day that is uh, conducive to Black Friday shopping, uh, particularly at uh, the Magnificent Mile, which is sort of an outdoor mall in, in some sense. I mean, there's the indoor water tower that has so many stores. But, you know, it requires people to come out here. And it'll be interesting for me, I think, Dagan, to see what effect uh, the protest has on this today, whether, you know, shoppers want to come out and wade through what is a potential, uh, I don't want to say a potential riot, but it's certainly a potential loud protest. But to what extent also this weather has on it, I, I don't think we're going to know the true impact of the protest because I think the weather is going to have a chilling effect on, on people coming out here as well. And I, I know that Kevin has a he has a question for Peter, Jeff. Sorry to leave you hanging, but Kevin, go ahead. Yeah, Peter, earlier you mentioned there was actually people, you mentioned that there was a mobile app and that they were provide, the mall was providing this. Have you seen anybody use that? Are people talking about it? What's the effect of that? Yeah, and I did ask, I did ask uh, the marketing director whether or not all of these efforts are starting to uh, have an impact or actually helping the mall. And he says, yes, uh, that people are coming in here. There, there was a big renovation, a jumbotron, uh, this, this mobile app. And he said that all of them combined are uh, helping to get folks here. For, for example, the mall opened last night at 6 o'clock. And he said there were a lot of people coming in using their mobile devices to look at all the specials that the stores were offering. So, yeah, it's working.